What's good everybody? Welcome to Life on Beagle Road. We are ready to put the plastic up on the greenhouse today, folks. So excited. That's right, the plastic came the other day and I cannot explain to you how excited I am that it is here because I just want this greenhouse to be done. Here it is, my big roll of plastic. That's a lot of plastic. Huh. We're gonna have some work to do. We tried to come out the other day and get everything up, except it just started to rain, and then the wind came, and then some more rain, and then some more wind. I mean, it was ridiculous. Everything was flying like this. I felt like one of those, uh, what are those, airmen where you're going like this. It was ridiculous. But today is not that day. It is not like that at all. It may not be beautiful out, but uh, the sun is out somewhere behind all of these miserable clouds. However, it's not raining, it's not windy, and we can get the plastic up. So let's get to it, folks. Okay, so the other day, I, like I said, we came out and we started getting this greenhouse plastic up despite the nasty weather. And we got the front wall up. Before we could do any of that, we had to get the C-channel in. So we've got our C-channel in all over the place, so that way, when we got to the plastic, we can get that wiggle wire in. Now, something you need to understand is that my build here is not the conventional greenhouse build. You know, when you look at those hoop houses and they've got metal hoops that you bend, when I started doing the math, all of that added up so fast. And this was a much more economical way to go. However, I wanted something in between too expensive and too economical. So this is definitely like a Expensive economical build. Yeah. got the first row on on this wall now I'm gonna go over to the other wall put the long stretch on on that side we'll just keep plugging along getting these channels in because we're gonna be good to go right now I'm trying to figure out what to do with these channels for the wiggle wire this isn't your conventional greenhouse build these channels are made for uh, like greenhouse kits but you can use them for your own thing but I think their idea is that you're still gonna do a, like a greenhouse that's sort of like the ones that they sell. Mine isn't, so I'm trying to figure out how to do it a little bit differently. Right here I put the channel the whole way across on both sides. Plastic's gonna roll down, attach to here, and then my sides are kind of like roll-up sides. I'm probably still gonna have some wiggle wire towards the ends here, maybe in the middle. I don't know, I haven't figured out. I should have extra if I need to make a change, but that's what those are for. Here in the front where the doorway is, this is where I got to get a little bit more creative. So I'm thinking about here in the front, I'm going to go down the side so the plastic would wrap around here. Uh, and then I'll go up here, across, down, that way, and then back down the sides, which would allow me to bring the plastic into the front. I'll also be able to use that for the front of the plastic as well, uh, but I'm more worried about bringing the plastic over and tacking it down. This stuff here, I can just cut off an extra piece and then tack it down with some strap and staples. I haven't figured it out yet. In the back here, I've gone up the sides, over the diagonal, across the top, back down the diagonal, and then back down the side. And then I've also put one across the bottom. So this one here will be all wiggle wire, no strapping, no stapling, uh, which is nice because then I can you know, take it out whenever I need or, or whatever. So I'm just kind of trial and erroring it here right now. I think the moral of this story is that I'm not an expert on this stuff. I don't really know what I'm doing, but uh, I'm making the best of it and I'm using my brain. So I've got to come up with something good, right?
Uh, our last video, a lot of you posted about, hey, don't rip the plastic. And I hear you, and I was way ahead of you. I put some PVC pipe in, so that way the plastic can roll up and over top of the plastic and not ride up against the cattle panels. Because if it does, there are some places where it could snag and rip, and I don't want that. It's also possibly gonna put some pressure from any loads that sit on top of it right on those pieces that are just a little sharp and could put a hole in it. Now I could seal up those holes, but why not be proactive? Now, if you put PVC pipe up, just know that it is going to react to your plastic. It releases a gas that is detrimental to that plastic and it will break down. It'll burn a hole right through it. We don't want that. So you've got to cover it up. I covered mine up with some white latex paint and then somewhere after that decided that that wasn't enough. So I wrapped it in this HVAC tape. This is actually going to give us amazing coverage uh, and protection. There are some areas where I don't have a PVC, but I did have some spots where I thought maybe there could be a snag. This here, because I have a problem where I don't throw anything away, this is some padded carpet tape. Like I was ever gonna use that, ever. I have no clue why I have it. I don't know where I got it. I just know it's there and uh, it's foam rubber. Now foam rubber does not react to the greenhouse plastic and it is okay. So I just put it on some of these spots where I thought maybe it would snag. Most of them, you know, I just wrapped it and then zip tied it on. Uh, the tape itself wasn't sticking, so whatever. I could have just wrapped it with this and then the HVAC tape. I don't know, man. I just overdo everything. Go big or go home, folks or just do more than you need to. Why not? Because what else are you doing? We're all stuck at home. My sidewalls here have a C-channel at the bottom and a C-channel at the top. The reason for this is because I wanna be able to take the plastic off, lift it up, and get some air in there. But when I'm not doing that, I wanna be able to secure it along the bottom. Right now, I'm not set up for roll-up sides. Eventually, we will. But right now, we're not, and I don't foresee me changing that anytime soon. For now, what I'll be able to do is just you know, wiggle wired into the top channel if I want. Ideally, instead of the roll-up sides, I'd actually kind of like to create some sort of window panel on the sides that I can just lift up and just prop up and allow that air in. And then when I'm done, put them back down and secure them. I think that would be fantastic and would just lend a little bit of flexibility, again, to the structure itself. I struggled a little bit as to what to do with our doorway. I was just gonna put wiggle wire on the inside fold the plastic over and then tack it on in here. And you know, maybe perhaps I should have, but instead I have wiggle wire on the outside, but not the door frame itself. So it just wraps around the door. And then I use this strapping here. It's like, um, it's almost like a seat belt type of strapping, uh, but it's actually made for this application in greenhouses. You staple the plastic into the wood. The strapping helps to keep the plastic from moving and the staples from ripping holes in the plastic should last a really long time. Now you can see I, I screwed up here, so I have like this little piece here. I don't know if it's gonna work or not. I might have to change it, but I did have it all down here. No worries, it's all good. My next step is to get the plastic all along the top here. Now, I have an issue. My plastic is 20 feet by 40 feet. We've already used eight feet for the front and the back. So I've got 32 left. From the bottom side over here, all the way to the bottom side over here, we're just barely under 20 feet. So I was a little worried that I was gonna run short and have like gaps on one side or the other when I finished. So what I'm thinking is I can run the 20 feet, the length of the structure, because this is like 16 feet plus an inch and a half there, an inch and a half here, plus the distance it has to come down to get into the wiggle wire channel. Now over here in the front, that's like 20 inches or 22 inches, something like that. In the back, it's like 10 inches. So I should have enough, but I don't know. So my plan is I'm gonna unroll the whole roll of plastic and then I'm going to see where it lies in terms of reach and then I'll cut it. Because once I cut this stuff, folks, that's it. There ain't no going back, no going back. Now, this is usually the part of the project where I take a long pause because I'm probably gonna screw up. Yep. Like a couple days pause, 
But not today, folks, because we've got some greenhousing to do. This sucker's got to get done, so I'm just going to go at it. Wish me luck. That's what I'm talking about. Wait. Okay, now, from the beginning. Hit it, boys. So it looks like I've got just enough overlap right there to cover that little bit of space up there. Now on this side, keep in mind I got a little bit of a bump right there, so I think I got more. It looks like I'm pushing it. Let's find the tape measure. There we go. Where are we at? Boom. We're at about 25 inches. It looks like I need about uh, 24. Okay, from the looks of it, I think we are going to be fantastic. That's all I was hoping for. Perfect and fantastic. Just be with me. Just be with me. Just be. We're almost done folks. We're in the home stretch here. Uh, all I have left to do is to put wiggle wire along the long stretches on this side and then we are pretty much done. I guess I gotta do the door yet. I haven't done the door, but whatever. Who's counting? Well, folks, check it out. There it is. The greenhouse is done. We've got the wiggle wire on. We've got the plastic up. Uh, pretty much the only thing I have left to do is to trim all the excess plastic and put on the door. Uh, I haven't put on the door yet because we have a lot of stuff that we kind of want to get in and out of there right now. And I feel like the door is just going to kind of get in the way. So I'm going to wait until I'm all done getting some tables built for this getting our seedlings in here because right now they're growing in the basement we want to get them out here so they can harden off but also so we can stop messing with the lights in there well folks i hope you enjoyed my diy cattle panel greenhouse build and uh hopefully you stay tuned for more as we start to add some tables and our seedlings and we get a fantastic growing season out of this sucker Thank you all for tuning in and watching this entire series. Have a great day, stay safe, and uh, we'll see you on the next one, folks.